Now I'm gonna say Pisces, welcome to my channel. This is Crystal, your high priestess. If you guys are interested in my yoga retreats, please like, share, and subscribe. Um, for June and July, we do have uh, the Tower Scorpio here. The the uh, full moon tomorrow is in Scorpio, so it's gonna be a lot of uh, emotions running high. Maybe a lot of conflict, disagreements. But uh, definitely uh, a lot of lust and passion as well. So let me see what's going on for Pisces. It's early in the morning. As you can see, the sun is coming out. All right. So somebody has the key, okay, to the kingdom, honey. All right. Number 21. Absolutely beautiful, Pisces. So this is... <clears throat> this is the justice card. Oh, my apologies, Pisces. This is, uh, yeah, number 21. So this is not the Justice card. This is the... Major editing. This is the world. Okay. Euphora, it says. Success, completion, movement, travel, holistic, perfection enlightenment the house was always hers of the taking yet now she knows who she is she embraces what she used to avoid she has fulfilled her destiny so definitely happiness worlds so traveling you might be thinking about traveling all right so absolutely beautiful look at the sun coming out pisces messages for my pisces all right, so you have the four of wands, 11-11, commitments, marriage. You might be interested in committing right now. Oh, whoa! The death card. Oh, my goodness. And then with the ace of cups. And you've seen the way it kind of danced around, flipped around in my hand. I can't even make that up. You have a big... Offer of love. This could be a Scorpio, another Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio tomorrow on the full moon. Scorpio is in the full moon tomorrow, so definitely. Um, and it's three moons. I think it's a super moon. So this is going to be powerful emotions expressing love. But we do have this three of swords. So why is this here? Um, no, this is the three of wands. All right. So this is absolutely beautiful. It's like waiting. Like I said, so you got... The three and four wands, distance, travel, waiting for someone to come in. Three of wands is waiting for your ships to come in. All right, so I really like it. Four of wands, ace of cups, the death card, re-transformation. Okay, somebody from the past might want to return. Excuse me, Pisces. Someone... Alright, someone might want to return Pisces. Yeah, look at this. The sun. Obsession, the devil card. Actually, this is the lover. Wait a minute. Let me make sure this is the, the devil or the lovers. So this is number 15. These are new decks. So just bear with the priestess. They, they are absolutely beautiful. Um, yeah, this is the devil. It says, <laughs> ensures the lovers were her jealousy. Enslaves. It enslaves the lovers with her jealousy. Perhaps she enslaves herself. Are you the devil or are you the victim? What or who holds power over you? Shadow, darkness, power, control, temptation, obsession, um, and deception. And hedonism. Hedonism. Okay, so that is definitely um, powerful, Pisces. So the devil card... And then you have the sun. All right. The sun says it overcomes her as the sun rises on her uh, gothic landscape. Growth, uh, radiance, enlightenment, harmony, brilliance, and splendor. This is happiness, Pisces. So devil ha and the sun. So it's definitely somewhat obsessed. You got three major arcanas as well as the death card. And you got the judgment here. Libra, Scorpio, Capricorn, Leo, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sag. 
All right, so what is the rest of the messages, Spirit? Come through. Come on through, Spirit. Okay. So the two cards we have is the towel, Scorpio again. Now, this towel moment is definitely ne needed to occur or death or ending needed to occur because you have this Ten of Cups in your future. But uh, you have the tower and you have the, um, this looks like the page of swords. So it looks like someone's stalking and watching and lurking, honey. Okay. Look at this tower. Absolutely beautiful. Should we read the tower? See what the tower says. Um, you also have another page. Okay, you have the... Um, Definitely. No, this is the Knight of uh, Wands and the Lovers is here. I knew I was waiting for the Lovers to appear because of the Devil and Obsession and Love and Passion. So, definitely you have Knight of uh, Knight of Wands. Aries Leo Sage coming in here trying to sweep you off your feet. Passion. Let's get one more spirit for this message. It's a very powerful message. So many major arcanas. It's about love, obsession. And you have the Nine of Pentacles weighing out the options here if you want to pursue this connection or not. Or you might just be focusing on your career and then you have someone from the past Six of Cups um, who might want to come back to offer you um, a fresh start. Look at that. And you also have the Three of Pentacles. That's working together. You also have the Knight of Pentacles. Look at this. Absolutely beautiful. And look at the Seven of Wands. This is my first time looking at these cards. And you got the... This is the hangman. Okay. Hanging and waiting until you turn into a and wow, this look at the look at the Queen of Cups. Pisces Kiss and Scorpio. Absolutely beautiful. We got those wings, honey. That's right. So definitely working towards something and someone returning from your past. These cards are beautiful. I have to go live with these early this morning. So the message. Pisces that we have before we clarify we're gonna clap all right we're seven minutes so before we clarify we're gonna take this into the extended so you do have happiness the sun um it was a towel moment but that towel moment is going to be picked up with some type of offer of love towards new passion here in your future you got the lovers in the night of wands airs the sag Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, and the Gemini energy. So someone is in love with you. They want to make love to you. Um, I see that this person is coming to you. Very genuine. Okay. No shady. I see all honesty here. Nothing but honesty. Someone is patiently waiting for this love. You guys could be afar in different cities, different towns. Just far away. Um, maybe you guys have a past here. It was an ending in you guys' lives. Maybe it was a past relationship that ended so you prepare yourself for the new connection and you're trying to have patience we did have the Sagittarius come out in the pre-shuffle so definitely um nine of pentacles it's definitely independent energy someone who's focused on their career and their work as well as this um this is the page of uh swords so Definitely energy of someone stalking. Okay. Definitely this looks like the Knight of Swords. So I'm going to say this is the Knight of Swords. Alright. Um, so you have the Knight of Swords. The Knight of Wands. Okay. Yeah. So this is the past, present, and future here. So it looks very, very good. Now, to switch this around, someone from your past could have broken up with you, Pisces, with the death card. It could have been a sudden ending with any one of these signs. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or Aries, or Sag. Um, you got Libra here, Leo, Capricorn, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. Okay. Also, Virgo was here early in the, the pre-shuffle. So, you could have ended things with these people and someone is having a realization of their possessiveness, their control. It could be you or your partner because you got two energies of someone 
wanting to control things and is just set in their ways, which is normally a Scorpio, very stubborn energy. And then you got Leo here and then you got Capricorn. So it's like fixed energy. Once they set their mind on something, they don't change their mind. So you got Libra here. So the just judgment is here. So definitely an energy of someone was judging the way you was asking for this commitment. They decided to break up. Maybe someone was waiting for you to open up communication with the Three of Wands. You didn't. They still have love for you. You still have love for them. Then you have this obsession and wanting and craving this happiness. This son, someone is regretting not having this with you. So they're having a towel moment in their lives because your your absence make the heart grows fonder. And then now you have this Russian nights. You might have options with two new potentially um, love connections or these are the people from your past who's running towards you. These two nights are uh fast okay they're they they're reckless they run towards what they want they don't think until after the fact after they're in a relationship with you after they marry you after they sleep with you that type of energy um is coming towards you now when it does come towards you we're gonna contact we're gonna <laughs> spirit is talking for me so we're gonna contact spirit <laughs> So someone might contact you for love making or just communication and, and pouring out their emotions on the full moon, which is tomorrow. Um, so yeah, someone is going to contact you, but we will contact spirits is what I want to say <laughs> and find out what, what is the hidden secret when we pull the extended. All right, so let's get to the, I, I can't wait to get into it to see what's going on here with this future partners or partner. Um... So Pisces, it looks very beautiful. Now, lately I will do the readings like this. So if you guys want me to take my readings to clarify back to the way it used to be, please leave a kind donation because right now I'm just doing, I'm working off of donations and that will help me continue to do the readings this way and you guys get an opportunity to see uh, your reading, okay? You will be able to see the clarification is what I want to say. <laughs> it's early in the morning, Pisces. You also have justice here I'm looking at and you have justice here. So definitely energy of some type of justice that's going to go in your favor, Pisces. So that's clarified. This is amazing. See you in extended. Okay, Pisces, this is the extended. We do have the moon and the strength. So Leo, Cancer, Pisces energy. All right, so this is a preview of the extended. Why is the justice here? I want to make sure that uh, we are actually doing the justice card here <clears throat> because I am very actually. This is the world, okay? Traveling, yeah. We said this was happiness, bliss. Someone in the distance is waiting for you. So let's see. Why is the world here for Pisces? Equal balance. Wow, I love it. So someone in the distance is waiting. They want to offer you this equal balance. They want to make love to you. They want happiness and commitment. Why is the 1111 here? This is 1111. This is happiness. Wow. Okay. So definitely energy of releasing heavy burdens or past burdens that they're releasing. All right. Um, and they don't want to be burdened in this connection. They want to make sure that they covering all their uh, wants and needs as far as conversation goes. Making sure that you guys are both on the same page so that is no mishaps is what I'm getting. Oh, here's the high priestess. Let's show you. It is reversed. It could be another Pi Cancer Pisces here. Or Pisces. The high priestess is Pisces, okay? Um, why is the devil here? You might be having a, a disagreement with a Scorpio from your past. All right. And this person could be the one obsessed with you. Why is the death card here? Okay, yeah. Someone is feeling regretful. And like a fool. I just love these cards when they come out. <laughs> yeah, you're right. You're a fool because you didn't speak the truth. You didn't open up to me. You didn't tell me the truth. With this blue chakra here. And you have the Ace of Cups. So now next is love. So um, it's definitely an energy of a Scorpio who or a crazy but Gemini. Yeah, look. See, someone was in the dark. They was not happy with their lives. So they didn't know how to love is what your partner want to tell you or this is what you want to tell them. 
Why is the Ace of Cups here? You didn't know how to love or they didn't know how to love. You have the uh, Page of Swords, stalking, love, obsession, passion. All right, let's take this into the extended namaste.